Good morning from the big island of Hawaii. When I turn my phone on in the morning, um, I'm, it's like, welcome to more crimes. Welcome to more crimes. Welcome to more crimes. That's what I see on Facebook. Welcome to more crimes. Right? So um, one of my friends, because of what's happening with the indigenous peoples of planet Earth, otherwise known as Native Indian Spirit, and I guess this was up in Manitoba about Native Indians uh, that apparently were murdered. I don't know all the facts of the case, but you know how facts go, right? Um, and uh, so, you know, these are obviously extremely painful experiences, right? Um, but what I'm reminded of when why they're so upset because apparently the Winnipeg police refused to do their job. Okay. The same as that guy, what's his name? Fullmeister over in Germany is trying to get judges to sign off on a Nuremberg trials to go after war criminals. And they refuse to do it. Why? Okay. John Gato spelled it out. Actually, I mentioned this yesterday on my Facebook page. I believe it's called the Principles of Secondary Education. And this is what these demons do, or if you will, control freaks. Now, in a message that I put up with, with the lady that was talking about how the people are upset because the Winnipeg police are not doing their job, right? Well, but they'll certainly do their job against us, right? So you're on a spiritual battlefield, right? So they identify who they are, right? Just like on any game board, you know, winners and losers, okay? Now, I'm a single pole, okay? I figure most people know what a monopole is. I heard the word monad, okay? If you watch the movie Matrix, you see how Mr. Smith, which is a programmer, which is AI, a matrix, does everything they can, particularly in the latest episode called Matrix Resurrection. They did not want Trinity and Neo to remember each other. So they're never separated from each other. That's a monad. That's a single pull. Fast forward into another movie that I watched part of last night called War of the Worlds. Oh, and this is when they get into synthetic biology. This is when they get into hybrids. This is when we get into the negative magnetic polarity bloodlines, right? And we talked about the virus. And I mentioned this to my clan mother, targeting certain seated races, right? So you realize, remember, the Anunnaki, what's his name, Enki? What began or launched the war in heaven? And it's funny in that movie, guess what you could notice what they were looking for? They had a little tattoo on their hand. And guess what that tattoo was of? Adam. Now, if you go to Yellow Rose for Texas, the line answer told, she shows you on some of the old hieroglyphs, the symbol of the law of one, Adam and Eve, which is the law of spheres, which is a single point within a sphere, which is a cross, which is in perfect balance because the Adam is vibrating at the highest rate of speed, which is a love vibration. So in that movie, War of the Worlds, you see those that had that symbol of Adam, which is the branch of mankind. So they reveal the truth in their movies. Okay? So you realize Dante Satori certainly put up hundreds of videos, what were known as 72s. A 72 was a hybrid. So part of what he was doing on all those videos, and they're not up anymore. I don't know what happened to this guy, but I know that he was a covens of a zazzle. And he was showing you, okay, that he was trying to recruit 72s. What is 72? That's half of a 144. What's 144? 12 by 12. 12 strand DNA, the original template. The blueprint of mankind which is 144,000 frequency tribal bands, otherwise known as a language of DNA. That's a badass bandwidth radio set, isn't it? 
So imagine you've got 144,000 frequencies and you're running on an eternal low vibration. Whoa. Base 12. That's a lot of fire. Isn't it? That's a powerful antenna. They want to knock your antenna down, don't they? Yeah. You're valuable, all right. Particularly when you're a single pole, huh? That's called a mated chip. So you can see how in the War of the Worlds, how important the mated chip was. Which means you could be anywhere you want to be. And I've said that many times. Wherever you find love and living spirit, you'll find us. Which means there is no time. That's an illusion. Ask any single pole. So in this particular case, I can remember one time when I was in a psychiatric hospital and there was a psychologist who was coming out of there and uh, talking about what they call cognitive science. Remember cognitive dissidence? So when people were, when they realized that most of the people that are in these institutions are there because of abuse. Child abuse leads to what? Adult self-abuse. And then what does adult self-abuse lead to? Abuse of their children. So they just continue the cycle, harvesting energy, Brrr. harvesting soul's energy. That becomes a hamster wheel. Man, we got ourselves a perpetual state of energy. We can feed on these characters, knock their antennas down. Welcome to negative magnetic space. Earth fell in spirit in battle because of the invasion, you know, the branch of mankind, Eden. That's pretty simple stuff. That's a story that we tell because it's the truth, because I experience what the truth is, because that's what love is. So we don't live in fear of expressing the truth, because I experienced what happened. That was pretty obvious when I was a child. I'm reading a newspaper. They're letting me know who they are. They go to war in their mirror. So in other words, what this psychologist was trying to explain to other people in that institution who were trying to rehabilitate themselves from drugs and alcohol, being in a depressed state, okay, because they're not experiencing love everywhere that they go, which is what the law is. That's the law of one. That's the little tattoo they had on their hand. The law of one is a single pole. That's why the little dot inside a circle. Yeah, that's the law of one. That's a branch of man. Mankind. So they're revealing the truth. Slowly but surely through their movies. Even though they intertwine a lot of that. Depending on who made the movie. Because this is all code. They know exactly who they're speaking to. Right? So in this particular case, I'm reminded when this lady was talking about. You know, that, that the Winnipeg police simply are not complying with what it is they're supposed to be doing. Well, where I come from, isn't that called a dereliction of duty? Yeah, but it isn't going to matter. I used to run into, and they're pretty easy to identify, what I used to call fully programmable unit, which means they're non-repairables. Okay? These beings are so deeply programmed, I call them AI drones, which means you're not going to change what it is that they are unless you deprogram them, erase their memory, and start over. Reprogram them. Okay. You could do that with a machine, right? Yeah. Reprogram the machine. Programmers, programmable matter, M state, matter state, any matter state. So it's just like what this psychologist was trying to tell these people was, you know, when you watch a duck, when you observe a duck, you're observing what a duck does. So a duck is doing what a duck does. So why would you place in an expectation on a duck when you're experiencing what ducks do. Now that would be true for a demon. Demons do what demons do. Right? So for you to expect that a demon is going to do something other than what it is, as a demon, is an unreasonable expectation, isn't it? <laughs> so what are you going to do with these characters? Characters? Character maps on a keyboard? Keyboard notes? Cliff notes? It's really amazing to me, all the alpha, alphanumeric programming. You know, I, I saw a pop-up this morning on my Facebook page called Cashbox, Cashbox, see? And then you get into Cash App, put all that in RAM, Metaverse, Digital Worlds. It gets ridiculous. It's actually pretty hilarious. 
but actually it's not funny because you when you when you place expectations like you're the director of a play and you want everybody that's in that play if they're not acting and performing according to the script that you're the director of chances are you're going to be on a collision course with them why because they're not acting the way that you want them to act because as a director you're in control right so you know the dilemma is their control <laughs> They don't know how to let things go and go with the flow. The law of least effort. That's what love is. That's the law of least effort. It's the center point of a pole, a fire pole. Going down the pole, climb the pole. Remember the old rope climb? We had a rope climb when I was in high school. It was a 50 foot rope. Climb out, climb up the rope. Altitude, density, consciousness, as above, so below. <laughs> so I, I posted a comment to this lady when she posted a picture of the protest signs at the Winnipeg police. We're not responding. Did you expect them to? <laughs> Expectations? Now we're back in cognitive science, cognitive dissidence. They're programmed to carry out those those rules, rule-based functions. Computers operate on rules. Otherwise, they can't talk to each other. Okay? So it's just like, lady, this, the, these, these people, these beings are like NPCs, non, non-player characters. Okay? For me, it's just like, you already know their future. Okay? They're not abiding by love as a law, are they? So who are they working for? Organized crimes. And they're held captive by their own energy because of rule-based functions. You know, go read the book, Principles of Secondary Education. These elites, what they actually do is they graph what is known as a reaction state. And this is why, for example, when you look at the Truman Show, they graph that, which basically means they're mapping your consciousness and your reaction state to authority to see how well they programmed you to obey. Okay. So when I was a child, I gave one of these. Okay. Because you already know how they do it. That's why I went into their schools. How are they doing this? When you're six years old and you already realize how programming works, you realize what people were being programmed, which is called RAM, which is read active memory. So you know you have a built-in calculator, which means you're a mathematician, right? So you're choosing what to put in memory and what not to put in memory because of future proves past, back to the future, if you want to have a future. So you know that if you are what love is, you got a future. So if they're not what love is, they don't have a future. Why? Because they're compliant with evil. And when you're using your energy in order to support and be complicit and participate in crimes against children in particular, you don't have a future. See, but it doesn't matter. Why does it not matter? Because you're not going to change what it is that they are. If they ain't awoke by now, you think you're going to wake them up? And now we're imposing our will on them. And that's another control freak. See the problem? See, wanting to change everybody from what it is that they are. Now we're into free will. That's the battleground. So I, it's the the simplicity of this is that if I see somebody that's doing something wrong, I naturally would say that I was doing that my entire life from the time I was a little child, checking all the boxes, remember, of all the crimes. So that means that the allied forces of mankind, okay, if you will, the law of one, the amount of energy that can be brought to bear on those that have committed all the crimes, you already know their future. And you know the future, just like parasites, burn them up. I burn up parasites every day by being as alkaline as I possibly can. Base 12, 1200 megahertz, that's a lot of fire. So imagine how much fire can be brought to bear when the Allied forces are here without them. 
Adam and Eve. See? Which basically means that that energy, which is what love energy, is what protects the universe, protects the galaxy, protects the star system, protects your, your children, protects the tree of life creation. That's the bottom line, as they say. Have a great day. I love you all. Be good to yourselves.